Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, we will explore different form elements, including the new ones added in HTML5. These are all the form elements. The highlighted ones are the newly introduced in HTML5. We have used a lot of these elements already. And in this video, we will learn about the data list element. So let's talk about this data list element. So it is like a combination of drop down and autocomplete text box. It shows suggestions from a predefined list of options. Let's try an example to understand it better. All right, so let's create our form element here. So form, and inside this, we need the input element. Now, to create a data list, we need to pass the list here. So let's create a data list. So to create a data list, we can use the data list element. So data list. Let's give it an ID. Let's say technology. So let's create a list of some tools and technologies like HTML CSS and stuff. Now to add options, we can use another form element called option. So let's use that. It doesn't need a closing tag. So let's remove this. Although it does needs a value. So let's say HTML. First, let's add just three. Two, three. All right, so let's say HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now we need to pass the ID of this data list to our input element. So here let's pass the ID. So this was technologies. And let's give a name to our input element. So let's say technology. Let's save it. Let's run our live server. And now, as you can see, we've got this little input box. When I click on the drop down, so it shows me a list of all the options. But if I type something here, it keeps giving me suggestions accordingly. So it is like a combination of drop down and autocomplete text box. Let's add some more options here. Uh, let's say Java, C++, Git, React, Redux, let's say Angular, Python. PHP and say Django. Oh, let's just keep these many for now. So coming back here. And now when I click on the drop down, I can see a list of all these options that I've defined. So if I just click on it, it gets added. Let's say I want to search, so I can just do Python. Or if I want to search Java, I can just write and it gives me options based on the search string that I've entered. That's all for today, guys. If there's something that you did not understand, feel free to drop a comment and we will discuss it. See you in the next video. Bye and take care.